Individuality t-shirt tonight. If you like these, you can get them from my website. Also, my pink and purple pants. Pajama pants again. What do your pajamas look like tonight? Bet there's some cool ones. Right now, are you cozy? Are you in your pajamas? If you're not, you need to jump into them now. You can pause the video and run and get into your PJs. And get nice and cozy, ready for our story tonight because it's a cool one. Now this is one that's written by Jill Murphy. And we've had another one called Peace at Last um, written by Jill Mur Murphy. And if you like that one, you can go and um, check that out on the playlist of Bedtime Stories and Songs here on YouTube, on my channel. Right. This story is called Whatever Next by Jill Murphy. One of my favourite birds. That's right, it's an owl. Whatever Next by Jill Murphy. Can I go to the moon? asked Baby Bear. Here he's looking out his window wishing he could go to the moon. No, you can't said Mrs. Bear. It's bath time. Anyway, you'd have to find a rocket first. Baby Bear found a rocket in the cupboard under the stairs. Have you got a cupboard under your stairs? I haven't got any stairs here at my house. Imagine finding a rocket in your cupboard. He found a space helmet on the draining board in the kitchen and a pair of space boots on the mat by the front door. What is his... He's got <laughs> a colander on his head and his yellow gum boots. But they look like a space helmet and space boots to me. He packed his teddy and some food for the journey and took off up the chimney. Can you see what his rocket is? It's a cardboard box. You can make all sorts of things out of cardboard boxes, can't you? There he is dragging his rocket to fill it up with his food. Whoosh! Out into the night. Here he goes. Up the chimney. We've got a little stripy cat like that coming round our house at the moment. My daughter's feeding him. We'll see if we get to keep him, or whether he's somebody else's cat. An owl flew past. That's a smart rocket, he said. Where are you off to? The moon, said Baby Bear. Would you like to come too? Yes, please, said the owl. An aeroplane roared out of the clouds. Baby Bear waved, and some of the passengers waved back. There they are, in their rocket, waving at the aeroplane. And here's some of the people waving back. On and on they flew, up and up and up above the clouds, past millions of stars. Till at last they landed on the moon. Here they are, flying up and up. And Al is about to put his feet on the moon. 
There's nobody here, said Baby Bear. There are no trees, said the owl. It's a bit boring, said Baby Bear. Shall we have a picnic? What a good idea, said the owl. The owl is spreading the picnic blanket out. And there they are, sitting on the moon, having a picnic. Do you think you could sit on the moon to have a picnic? There might be a very important reason why you can't sit on the moon. Do you know what it is? That's right, there's no gravity on the moon. Gravity is what holds us down on Earth. We'd better go, said Baby Bear. My bath must be ready by now. Off they went, down and down. The owl got out and flew away. Goodbye, he said. It was so nice to meet you. And they go down and down and down. And there they are. There's Owl flying off. It rained, and the rain dripped through Baby Bear's helmet. Oh dear. His helmet's got holes in it, hasn't it? Hmm. Home went Baby Bear back down the chimney and onto the living room carpet with a bump. Coming down, going to go through the chimney and bump. There he is. Out of the chimney. Mrs Bear came into the room. Look at the state of you, she gasped as she led him away to the bathroom. Why, you look as if you've been up the chimney. <laughs> Look at him there. Paw marks and ash from the chimney. As a matter of fact, said Baby Bear, I have been up the chimney. I found a rocket and went to visit the moon. Mrs Bear laughed. You and your story, she said. Whatever next? Let's climb into the bath. Putting his paw marks everywhere. Getting all washed up. And that's the story of Baby Bear, Little Bear, going to the moon. Well, I hope you like that story by Jill Murphy called Whatever Next. Uh... I was going to tell you something about that story. What was it? Oh, yes, I do have a song called Rocket Ship. You can find it on Spotify under Poppet Stars if you'd like to. And it goes um, Rocket Ship getting higher and higher, Rocket Ship going up, up, up. Um, but I'm not going to sing that to you now. What I'm going to sing to you now is a song I wrote called At the Library because I figured that. Um, um, that the bear in this story, Baby Bear, um, was having a very good imaginative journey. And when you go to the library, you can get all sorts of books out with all sorts of adventures. And as soon as you start reading a book, it takes you on an adventure. So that's what my song is about. I'll get my guitar. Oh, little Red Ted's on my guitar tonight. Oh, come on, Red Ted. Come and sit on my knee while I play you this song. Now, this song's got some uh, words in it, actually, that you can call out. So, I will be singing at the library. And you're going to say, have an adventure. You can write those words down. Pause this visit video and write those words down if you like. Have an adventure. Or get mum or dad or nana or auntie or uncle or someone, the bigger brother or sister to write it down. Have an adventure. And then write down past, present and future. Because you can read books about something that happened long ago and you can read books about things that are going to happen. Past, long ago, future and present, what's happening right now. And then you can spell library, which is L-I-B-R-A-R-Y. 
are why. You can just pause this video and write all those things down because you're going to call them out. I'm going to go like this. At the library, have an adventure. At the library, past, present and future. And then spell it. L-I-B-R-A-R-Y. Hey! You've got to say hey at the end. Okay. You'll hear when that bit comes up. Now, Ted, where are you going to sit? Where are you going to get comfy? Hmm, maybe up here again on that. There we go. That's nice. Computers, comics, classics, comedy. Whether you're big, small, medium, young, youth, full or old, there's always a story to read and always a story to be told at the library. Have an adventure at the library. Past, present, and future. L I B R A R Y. Hey! And if you've got troubles, you can help. fiction silly or serious reference research or ridiculous ask a librarian if you're not sure what to do they're always willing to help and always as interested as you at the library have an adventure at the library past present and future spell l-i-b-r-a-r-y hey and if you've got troubles it can help Present and future, L I B R A R Y. Hey, and if you've got troubles, it can help take your troubles away. Join the library today. Read a book, but what do you say? Take it home or stay at the library. go to the library sometimes um, when we're allowed to go to the library again it will be awesome um, so enjoy your sleep dream of all the different adventures you can have when you open a book which is so many different adventures and I'll see you here again tomorrow night that song and all my songs are on Spotify go and check them out you can listen to them all day long night night oh I forgot to blow your kiss there's your kiss <gasps> Thank you for mine. See you tomorrow. Bye.